Welcome, welcome everybody. We have some awesome news for you guys. A wireless display Miracast is working on a $100 device or $120 device by Microsoft. It's called the Lumia 550. I've been unboxing this uh, and reviewing this for a week now and I wanted to try it also on my Miracast enabled TV with my Microsoft display adapter. If you have Miracast built in, it will work also just standalone. You don't need an adapter. I know Microsoft with Microsoft works usually quite good, but that's not the reason I'm using it. Um, I tried it with my BlackBerry and also with other devices that have Miracast, it works fine the same way there also. But how to use this is really quite easy under Windows Phone 10, so the latest Windows Phone you have here on the top corner the little connect icon right here in this corner, actually sorry about that. You just press this one and then you select here the um, adapter that you or the TV that you want to connect to. You just hit that and uh, um, connecting to Windows Phone will appear right on your TV. And once it's connected, it actually says already connected right here, and um, you will see the full display here on the TV. What we will show you is a little bit of PowerPoint. You could also do browsing, you can flip the screen, you can see it's a little bit slow, but it actually works um, with a hundred dollar device. And that's really amazing to me since the adapter there also almost cost a hundred bucks and the TV is a $2,000 TV. So actually that should support it by itself. But wireless display Miracast is really actually inside all the new LG, Samsung and Sony and Panasonic and all the big companies TVs, not only with Android. So I can, for example, easily open up your PowerPoint and flip the display actually and I have um, something running here um, that might be interesting so we have here a few slides that you can select from then you can open it up and it's always a um, um, screen mirroring so you always see um, your smartphone display and that display also if you turn off the display here it will turn it off there also if you turn it on again and unlock it you will come back to the same spot it takes a while since there's only one gig of RAM inside and you need to um, obviously wait a bit, but you can see it here quite nicely and um, that this works quite well. So if this works quite well, what else? There's obviously the possibility to um, check out browsing. For example, here the Microsoft website or an account website is loading here over Wi-Fi. And sorry about the flimmery screen. I will fix that in a second. That's only because it's white. Um, and what we can also do is gaming. Now gaming, for example, I have Asphalt 8 running or had it running before. So let me just see that we yeah, actually we do have to load the whole game again. And um, so anyhow, it runs quite nicely, smoothly and quickly um, or not that quickly since there's always a little bit of delay as we're able to see when you see here the full screen. Also when it's loading, um, when it finishes here, it takes about half a second until you see there the result also. And the graphics are obviously with 720p on a 4K TV, not the best. Um, you are sitting or you are actually a little bit um, not that close as me, so it's a little bit better for you guys, but obviously a 4K 55 inch TV is not meant to be um, watched at from just um, three feet away. So let me start the race. This will also load for a few seconds and then we can start gaming. Now you can see for example here the Racer 6, the resolution is not perfect. Um, on that side and here the Nevada sign is missing the N or it just says Nevada, which is all right since you don't have to see the full screen. I think there are those uh, 20 pixels on the left and uh, right side are right that you cannot see them. It would be worse if there would be, I think, a black border around the whole thing. And it's... let's just see how I do in this little bit of gaming scenario. And this was actually just really to show you that even with a hundred um, dollar device you can gain nicely on a big TV or just let other people watch you game. Now I'm looking at my smartphone screen because there it's real time obviously what I'm doing and if I would wa just watch at the full screen I can also do that since I only have to steer here but you can see I'm way worse since there is just that lag that you, you probably don't want especially in a high speed racing game because then you will yeah just drive like I do right now which is not really that good but it's still enough to be second place right now but I guess I won't finish it again because this is just to show you guys 
how wireless display gaming works and it works on a hundred dollar device I'm amazed um, and you should definitely try it out here the Lumia 550 or get a really faster phone like a Blackberry, a Samsung or any other phone that's a little bit more expensive. It will obviously work also with Miracast but this was just a proof of concept for the Lumia 550 and Windows Mobile 10 or Windows Phone 10 that it's a really good operating system that gets out a lot of hardware, gets, gets everything out from not that good of a hardware. Thank you much for tuning in, don't forget to subscribe. Again my name is Balaj and hope to see you guys again.